Hi, it's Jess from Sun Valley Trading Co. The Australian distributors for cowboy and high tech industrial sewing machines and leather machines. We're also the sellers of the Carnadyne servo motors. And this video is explaining some of the operating for this 750SH model. It would also works the same on the SL model. Um, but this example that we have is the SH. So the motors come with this instruction manual, which just has some basic instructions and some technical diagrams. Um, so what we mostly would want to look at is here on page seven. Um, it just describes the buttons on the screen and an example of how to edit the parameters and then a list of all the parameters most of which won't need to be adjusted probably can't be adjusted um, but we'll just point out a couple of the ones that you may want to do something with the simplest things to change um, I just on these quick adjustments here. So the plus and minus buttons without going into any other parameter, these can just be used to set the maximum RPM that the motor will run at. So even if you put your foot flat to the floor, uh, the factory setting is 500 foot flat to the floor, it will only do 500 RPM at the motor. You can drop that right down if you really want to be certain that it's not going to go very fast at all. Or if you are actually wanting to get a bit of speed up, you can put this up. This button here will control the light if you have one of the lights that plugs into the back of the control box. Um, reset puts the factory settings back to it. This one is the needle up or down controller if you have the electronic needle positioning set up. And this one here is the direction of rotation. So that is something that you may need to use Without the light on, it's running clockwise at the pulley, which in this setup is turning the sewing machine the right way. Um, you want the pulley of your sewing machine to be turning towards you. If you need to change it, you just need to press this button for a little bit don't rush it until the light changes. So in the parameter lists, we have here the soft start and the soft start speed. Um, that may be something that you want to change. Um, we have also here the minimum speed. That could be something that you want to change. The factory setting is 50 RPM because that is the slowest that the motor can run. Um, but if you are wanting to go faster, you can bump that up. So to edit any of these parameters, we press the P and the OK button together and it will bring up P01 and we just use these plus and minus here to go through the list. So say we wanted to change that, which is P14, we go to P14, then we go P to edit, and then we can use the plus and minus buttons to change the setting. And once we're done, we go OK. And if we didn't want to change anything else again, we just go OK, and it goes back to the usual standby idle setting. Uh, when you do go to sew, 
it will bring up a number there telling you what RPM the motor is running at. So something else that you may need to change, um, we have here P26, the synchronizer switch. So that's for the needle positioning system. So if you do put a needle positioning system on, um, you'll need to turn it on. So we go to 26, P to edit, plus, you have to be a bit patient. Plus to make it one, which it says here in the list that one is on, zero is off. Then we go OK. And then we can use this button here to decide whether we want the needle to stop in the up position or in the down position. Um, it says it here in the list that when the LED light is on, like it is here, the needle will stop in the up position when the LED light is off the needle will stop in the down position um, one other thing that you may want to change if you've bought one of these motors and put it on a sewing machine the machine hand wheel size and the pulley size so often the pulley size on these motors is 45 mil and then obviously the machine hand wheel size is whatever the diameter of the flywheel is on your sewing machine. So we'll just double check this one that the pulley size is entered right. So that is parameter 53. and it's actually got a 45 mil pulley on there so we'll just put that down okay okay there are other features in these motors because they can be put on more technical sewing machines that have like pneumatics and all sorts of stuff like that but just for the general one of the mill sewing machines that's pretty much got it covered um, and you can look through that list yourself if you're looking for something else um, but a lot of them probably best to just leave them as they are um, when we want to turn it off we just flick the switch on the side here and it says off if you do have any questions just get in touch with us and we will try and help you sort it out thank you